Looks like they have a guard tower. I wonder if you can go to the top. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we'll get into Kosovo, maybe we won't. Oh my God, look at the Turkish delight. I think this would also be a really good destination for digital nomads. Hey guys, so we finally found the uh, correct entrance. They have ice water here. How much was it, Jay? 30 uh, dinar. Cool. So uh, about a little less than a dollar for an ice water. It's a good deal. Um, so this is the actual gate, guys. Do not listen to Google Maps. They will have you walking around in 40 degree weather around the side of the castle and it's not the right entrance. This yeah, we went to two entrances and they were both closed. Yeah, we're like really dying from the heat. Uh, let's go in and check it out. This is the proper entrance. So let's go see what it looks like inside. Ice water definitely saved me. Yeah, wow. that's really a nice, a nice uh, service the guy has selling some ice water over there. But wow, this is cool. We definitely looking, saved me some of that. We were looking forward to this and uh, it was not straightforward to find out how to get in guys. But we made it and now we are in the Skopje Fortress. Um, it's supposed to be an awesome view of the square and the city and like everything. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's <laughs> I'm see. so excited. This is our just our second castle yeah. in, uh, in the Balkans. Yeah, so far the one that was in Okrid was amazing. Let's see. I don't think this one. I wonder what's in there. Has the walkways on the ramparts like it did in Okrid, but wow, it's still pretty impressive. <laughs> Wow, I'm already starting to get a, a, a little sample of the view here, and that is definitely impressive. I wasn't sure what time it closed, so I wanted to get here, but now I'm thinking we should have came a bit later. It's so hot. Yeah, it's really hot. It is so fucking wow, hot. Wow, look at these views. Guys, this is pretty spectacular. You got, uh, I don't even know, where should we start? I don't know. Uh, well. Let's figure out some spots for you. Oh yeah, look, they do have walkways on the ramparts over there. So All right. you can walk along it and get some city views. Do you wanna go this way or? I guess we should probably try to check it out first. It looks shadier. Yeah, let's see. But yeah, so far North Macedonia is freaking awesome, guys. Uh, hopefully I'll have some details today on whether or not we're gonna be able to get into Kosovo or not. Yeah, we're really sad about that. Yeah, I've been wanting to go there because it's like Europe's newest country and it's just a fascinating part of the world. Um, I mean, we knew about this, this Delta variant, but I don't know. I thought the vaccine would have held up a little bit better. Yeah, but I mean, it's hard to say. We don't know, you know, the rules with these countries. It changes so often uh, that, you know, there's no real telling. Um, a lot of people were telling us that you didn't need a PCR test to get into Kosovo. But now the taxi is telling us that we do. So I guess we're gonna find out. Um, definitely watch your step over here, guys. Uh, it doesn't look like it's super well maintained, but I still think probably well worth it. Because from what I'm seeing already, the view looks incredible. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we're on the castle walls now. I don't know, do you get much of a view? Looks like it's kinda- It's a bit sunny. Well, it's like designed for shooting arrows out of, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Not really for the view, but maybe, uh, maybe up ahead. Let's see. This is pretty awesome. Um, looks like they have a guard tower. I wonder if you can go to the top. I guess we'll find out. All right, guys, it's a little bit not so straightforward, but I think we have kind of finally figured out where there's a lookout, which is what I was looking forward to. Um, 
So seems like when you get into the fortress, you want to kind of get along this wall here, this uh, defensive position and follow it because there's this guardrail here and it looks like up ahead, this is going to be a view deck. Now I'm not 100% sure of that, but I guess we're about to go find out. So uh, let's see. Um, a little bit nervous today because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get over the border to Kosovo. I'm kind of waiting to hear back from the Airbnb lady because she's going to try to confirm with her her government's Ministry of Health, but it's a weekend, so I don't know how she's going to do that. Um, we may end up having to turn around and go to a different city in Albania, which wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would still kind of suck because I was really looking forward to checking out Kosovo. I guess I could arrange a PCR test and come back later, um, but for now, let's just go see what this fortress looks like. Ooh, I think I found the viewpoint. Wow. Look at that, guys. That is a nice little view. All right, guys, so we are still walking along this fortress here, trying to see if we can find a good viewpoint. So far, the views we've seen are okay, but they're all blocked by the fortress's uh, ramparts. So I'm wondering maybe up here if there's a better observation deck but we're gonna go find out. Um, still very unclear what's going on for tomorrow. We're waiting to hear back from the lady in the Airbnb. Uh, we we're already talking to a cab about backup plans, because I don't know if I wanna deal with another bus after that. Uh, we may go take a cab back to Albania and chill in uh, Kortja or uh, P uh, Pogradek, I believe that's how you say it. I'm not sure because I don't want to go straight back to Tirana. I kind of want to see some stuff. So we're going to see. Uh, maybe we'll get into Kosovo. Maybe we won't. What's up guys? So we have found the view we were looking for. Um, the fortress is absolutely amazing. Um, it's not exactly straightforward necessarily finding anything because there's no signs anywhere. But if you wander around the complex, you'll see this tower. And once you get up here, the, the view is stunning, guys. You can see everything. You can see the old town, the new city, the river. Uh, Skopje is amazing. I definitely recommend checking out this town. Um, if it's not on your list of destinations to travel, you should definitely find out about this place because I feel like it is an untouched gem. And I think more and more people need to come check out this city because it's incredible. Alright guys, so the fortress was pretty cool, the view was pretty awesome, we did eventually find the viewpoint. Um, but looks like Kosovo is out because you need a PCR test and we don't really have time to organize it before we'd have to go tomorrow. Yeah. And I don't really want to stay another night and try to organize a PCR test. I mean it would be kind of okay, but... And they're saying we have to do seven days quarantine as well? well no, I don't know if that's true. That's, oh, but okay. that's the problem, there's nothing clear online, it's very unclear. So. We're just going to go back to Albania, but we're not going to go straight back to Tirana. We're going to go check out Korcha. I think that's how you pronounce it. Uh, it's another interesting city in Albania, so we're going to go check that out. Um, we're going to see about hiring a car. I think it's about 100 euros to get there. We could take the bus, but after the bus ride up here in the fucking heat, I'm thinking it might be just worth it to spend the money on the car. Yeah, we'll see how much it is. We'll see how much it is. For 100 euros, I'd probably do it. For much more, I don't think so. Yeah. But um, yeah, Korcha is supposed to be really nice, so we're gonna go check that out, and then maybe we'll hit something on the way back to Tirana. 
I know uh, Barat is right there as well, so that could be kind of worth checking out. I guess we'll just have to see. Um, but yeah, that's the thing with traveling, guys. Sometimes uh, your plans change, especially traveling during COVID. Oh my God. Uh, but I guess it will be kind of good to be back in Albania because if things do start closing up over the next few weeks, at we least- We can get back to Tirana yeah, easily. Yeah, and our apartment is there, so. Yeah, we don't have to spend, waste money on a hotel. Yeah, it, it kind of makes <laughs> a lot of sense. I think that's gonna be the game plan, guys. So we're gonna go ahead into the old bazaar and we'll show you guys that. Um, so far, we like Skopje a lot. Yeah, it's amazing. It's really cool. I'm really enjoying the city. Hey guys, so we're just walking back from the fortress. Uh, just wanna let you guys know, I don't think we mentioned it, but it was free to get in. So that's pretty cool. Um, the guy outside saved us with his ice water. Fucking awesome. Um, now we're heading back into uh, the old bazaar, maybe get some food. And yeah, see what's up for uh, sunset. What up guys, so we were back in the old town. It looks like Kosovo is out for this trip. It's, I don't really feel like having to book an additional Airbnb for two days and get a PCR test. It seems like it'd be a lot of work. So I think the plan will be to return to Albania and to uh, go check out a couple cities in Albania that I've been thinking about checking out anyway. So uh, it's not awesome, but it's also not the end of the world, I guess. Um, we still are, I think, in pretty good shape to go see and do some stuff. Uh, so far, Skopje is incredible. I'm really, really enjoying it here. Look, they got Turkish Delight over here. Ooh. Let's take a look at the Turkish oh Delight. Oh my God, looks good. Oh my God, look at the Turkish Delight. Damn, you could be a fat fuck in this city so no. easy. <laughs> the food is so good. I mean, definitely uh, this place is unreal. Yo, what's up guys? So we are pretty bummed about the Kosovo thing, but we're really enjoying Skopje. Um, the old town is pretty amazing. We're gonna go try to find some grub. Um, yeah, I'm pretty hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Overall, I'm really happy though. I really enjoyed uh, the old town, the fortress. The uh, fortress was crazy. North Macedonia is pretty cool. Really amazing. Can't wait to come back here. There's so much stuff to see. Like, you could easily spend a week here. I could With definitely. The museums and everything. I could even see living here, rent an apartment for a few months, just because it's such a chill environment. Yeah. I think it would be a nice place to just hang out, especially if you're working online. So, this is definitely a country I'm going to keep my eyes on as well for the future.
All right, so I'm a little bit sad about not getting to go to Kosovo. I'm getting a lot of mixed messages. People are telling me you can go. People are telling me you can't go. The Airbnb host talked to the cops, says that you need the PCR test. But this food is making me feel a lot better. And you guys, look at this spread. So we're vegetarians, but we're not vegans. So cheese is fine for us. I mean, look at this size of this fucking meal. And uh, most of the dishes are around one to two dollars. So it's really not so expensive if you don't eat meat. You can save a lot of money here. The, this looks incredible. I'm ready to dig in. I'm gonna try this salad, man. This looks out of this world. Oh, look at that. Oh my God. Everything it's like, looks good. Yeah, there's a couple different types of cheeses. Like, it's got some lettuce in there. This looks fantastic. And uh, maybe throw a little bit of yogurt on top of the salad. The yogurt is crazy. It has like a bite to it. Did you taste that kind of? Yeah. Yeah, let's see. And let's try the salad. Mmm. That's really fresh. Mmm. This place is called Pisella. Um, this is like my favorite thing in the world. It's called Ivar. It's like made from peppers. Fantastic. Mmm. We're gonna get down on this. And we got some beans. The beans look crazy good also. Yeah, this is really good. All right, guys, I'm going to dig in and wreck this. What's up guys, we are drinking Turkish tea and eating Turkish delight in the old bazaar in Skopje. Uh, I just wanna summarize so far how much I like this town. Um, overwhelmingly positive experience. I would even consider getting a lease and living out here for a while just because even though it's not a, like, it's not a huge, huge city, there's a lot going on and a lot to do and it's beautiful. And so far I really like the people, the food is really good. I think there's a lot of positives. I think this would also be a really good destination for digital nomads. I'm a little gutted about the PCR test. I guess I could stay another night here in Skopje and get a PCR test and go to Kosovo, but I kind of don't really want to deal with it. And, uh, you know, we're kind of a little bit nervous because we're hearing things about, like, some of the countries talking about closing borders. Well, whether that happens or it doesn't, we don't know, but we kind of want to get back to Albania just in case it does. So we're looking at uh, heading out tomorrow, maybe back to, uh, back to Albania. Uh, we're thinking about checking out Korcha. It's a city just uh, over the border in Albania that's supposed to be very cool. And then if we have time, maybe going to Barat and then from Barat back to Tirana. But we'll, we'll see how it goes. It's just one day at a time at this point. So by the time you see this video, we'll have already figured out what we're doing. But um, we will definitely visit Kosovo. We're just, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of not really trying to deal with a PCR test right now. And it, I don't really want to like have to emergency get another Airbnb and just keep shuffling around. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. But overall, I got to say, I really, really like this city. I really like North Macedonia. It's been an amazing experience. And uh, I hope you guys come check this country out. This is definitely worth it. What do you think of when you think of Albania? I think of opportunity. I think of a country that's open. I think of a country that wants long stay expats, that wants people to come and invest, wants new ideas, and is looking towards the West. I think that Albania is a beautiful country with incredible landscapes that can offer a very comfortable lifestyle at a very reasonable price. We will help navigate your journey to becoming an expat in Albania. We're working with some of the top lawyers. We can help establish businesses. We can help you get your residency. We can help you get real estate. We can arrange almost any contact that you might need for the process of moving here in almost any city in the country. We will simplify the process. We'll make it a lot easier for you to move to a country that maybe in the past would have been more of a challenge. With our help, it's gonna be a walk in the park. Brush your face and wash your teeth, son. 
Hey, what's awesome. up? I'm Dee from Canada. Hook up with the New York Nomad if you want a smooth ride into Vietnam or any Southeast Asian countries. Hey, my name is Aaron. Get in contact with the New York Nomad. If you want to get into Vietnam, hit them up. They'll get you in securely and professionally. Yo, this is Uncle Hollywood. I'm telling you right now, the New York Nomad got me a job. He's legit. Hit him up. Check him out. New York Nomad set me up in Vietnam. <laughs> Yo, my man got me a job. Come to Vietnam. Hey, what's up, guys? You thinking about coming to Vietnam? You're not sure where to start. You've heard a lot of things online. You don't know what's true. You don't know what's not. We offer a consulting service where we help you get on your feet in Vietnam. We give you advice on negotiating contracts with employers. We help you with real estate agents, visa agents that are reliable and that you can trust. And we help you get started in this amazing country and get on your feet. We help you get into different opportunities that might be more difficult for you if you were just landing in the country on your own. And we help you avoid a lot of the, the pitfalls and problems that you could have as a newcomer here. We provide you with reliable job recruiters, visa agents, real estate agents, and advice. If you guys are thinking about coming to Vietnam, hit us up for a consultation. We'll help you get started, help you get on your feet, and hopefully you'll love Vietnam as much as we do.